All right, everyone, here's your tutorial on getting started with the uh, Robot C and specifically with Robot Virtual Worlds. Uh, so the program I'm open up is uh, Robot C, Robot Virtual Worlds. It should be available on your desktop after you log into VMware uh, or if you're on a school computer, it should be, um, at least in our computer lab, it should be available to you. Uh, so when you open that up, uh, or you can actually technically open up just Robot C, the regular version as well, uh, should get you to the same spot, but um, either way click on one of those. Uh, when that first opens up, it should look something like this. Okay, the couple things you're going to check right away. Come over here to Robot, scroll down, go over to Platform Type, make sure it says VEX 2.0 Cortex. Uh, if this is not available, you might have to come down to the second menu here, VEX Robotics, and then click on VEX 2.0 Cortex there. Okay, the second thing you're going to double check is under here, um, Compiler Target, and you're going to come down here to virtual worlds. All right, so make sure you have those two things set up. Those are your first things you want to make sure are there. Uh, besides that, I'm also going to just quickly go over. Remember, you can always hit File, Open Sample Program. And this is probably a good place to get started, especially as you start um, using uh, the virtual world. So I'm going to go to just basic movement. Start off with this first one. It just says moving forward. OK, when you open this up, you'll kind of have a few things set up for you here. And uh, this is kind of gets you get you going with uh, the basic setups um, in terms of uh, how to use Robot Virtual Worlds. Okay, so the first one here is just moving forward. I'll quickly go over here. Remember, anything in green are comments, uh, so that means the computer's going to ignore them. It's just for you as the user to be able to see. The first thing you should look for here is task main. That's what the uh, computer or the robot itself is going to look for. And uh, you can see everything within these curly brackets is what it's going to be actually doing as a robot. After that, I'm looking here. The first thing, it says wait M 1 msec for 2,000. Uh, that means for 2 millis 2,000 milliseconds, which is 2 seconds. What is it going to do? Uh, both motors are going to go full power. 127 is max power for these motors. Uh, so motor right motor, motor left motor, both going full speed. How long is it going to do that for? Wait 1 m second for 3,000 milliseconds, which is 3 seconds. All right. Um, so once this is kind of set up, we'll just start with this as the default getting started. I'm going to click on Download to Robot. Typically, I would probably compile as well, um, but in this case, uh, I know it's a sample program, so it's going to work. And next up here, I'm going to type in my CS2 and account information. I'm using GPAC underscore Northville. That's my own account with the password. For you, you should have a, an account made at this point. All right, so I'm going to log into CS2N. Again, check under robots. Make sure you have the same robot under these pragma statements. The pragma is telling you kind of what your configurations are. So here I've got my RVW, Robot Virtual Worlds Square Bot. Make sure the robot matches. Okay, if not, where those configurations are set up are probably not going to work. Okay, after that, I'm going to start it in my movement section. So here's where some of the challenges are. So for the set, for example, for the first one, uh, it would be the Sumo Bot, for example. Uh, you can see some of the specs there. I'm going to go hit Start Activity. Okay, so once you're in here, what you're going to want to do is kind of be a play around with some of these things to start us off. You can mess around with some of the cameras. Right, so you can look at it from the top, that's camera 2. Camera 3 is free movement. You can kind of click around and follow it at different spots. And then uh, the last one here, view sensors, is going to be kind of showing you, uh, in this case, mainly what the range finder is going to be looking at. We'll talk more about sensors later, so I'm going to turn that one off for now. Uh, personally, I, I kind of like the top-down view. I think it helps me see it the best. Uh, you can also do things like you can show um, directions. You can add <clears throat> uh, you can add actually little markers. Last time I remember. Uh, all right, sorry, that part actually maybe is not working right now. Okay, anyways, um, once you hit play, it's going to run the program that you have set. So in this case, it should move forward for three seconds. Okay. In this case, it looks like if I take a look at this from a different angle, uh, let's do this free movement one. Okay, I can see that my arm is actually getting stuck. Okay, and so what I would do next is again, don't hit the X yet because then you have to log in all over again. I'm just going to click back over here to Robot C, make some changes. Uh, at this point, I probably want to do a save as. Okay, so I'm saving it as a new program. 
uh, um, find a new folder for yourself. Again, I personally would put it under uh, a folder called CAD. I have one that's called RVW Challenges. I actually have one that's wrote uh, Sumo Bot already. And so uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and open that one up at this point. Open file. And I'll show you guys how to get going with your Sumo Bot. And you can make your own uh, version of this to accomplish the first challenge here. All right, so again, mine, I have mine saved under RVW challenges. I'll open up my Sumo Bot. Okay, so the only difference here, I kept, I, I changed the comments to just talk about what I need here. So I've got my, my name. Again, make sure you have your name in there or else you don't get credit for this. Uh, the date and the block that you wrote the code and a brief description of the challenge. Okay, so for me, notice that I didn't change too much in terms of at the beginning. I'm still waiting two seconds before the program starts. Uh, the only difference is I added this little lift arm section, right? So the motor, arm motor, if you don't know what the names of the motors are, this is where you click on motor and sensor setup. Okay, under the motor and sensor setup, this is where all the, the configuration information is, right? So you can do standard models. I choose square bot. When you click on motors, you can see uh, mo port 2, port 3 is where the right and the left motor are, and then port 6 is where the arm motor is, and so I can see how it's named. Okay, so hit OK. Uh, all I'm doing is I'm turning the mo arm motor on half speed for a second, and then I'm going to turn it off, zero. Uh, you have to give it a time period there, so make sure to turn it off. And then after that, I'm moving forward for five seconds, and in my case here, I'm actually telling my motors to stop, um, to actually stop the uh, robot from moving. And now if I do this, I'm going to hit download to robot. It should open up my uh, robot, uh, sorry, virtual worlds. I hit the refresh button. Uh, again, I like to look at the top down. And I'll hit play. So let me do the free form just so you can see it. Oh, and in this case, actually, I moved the arm the wrong way. Okay, so uh, it looks like I maybe had set that backwards. Okay, so um, then, again, I will go back. I'll re go ahead and return it. Come back over to my robot C. And I need to change the direction of my arms moving. So I'll make that a negative 63 instead. OK. Hit save. And then now if I download to the robot, we should be able to be successful here. We'll see. All right, one more time. I'll hit play. I'll do my free movement camera. All right, it lifted it up. And we're still getting stuck here, All right? So uh, what that typically I'm thinking here is might be a power setting. Let me double check. All right. Well, um, at this point, if you hopefully that worked for you for the sumo bot challenge, and you're able to get your uh, arm moved upwards, motors moving forward, and it'll stop, and uh, and you should get a success for the challenge. Uh, one other tip for you, if uh, for some reason, every once I've had this happen, I'm not really sure why, but the square bot doesn't seem strong enough. Uh, you can change the robot itself, right? So if you come over here, for example, you go into motor and sensor setup, standard models, uh, and I'm going to change this right now to claw bot. I'll hit apply, hit OK. And now it's a claw bot instead. And again, it should still be arm motor. I believe we want this to go up instead. Um, so let's give this a shot. I'm going to go download to robot should pull up my robot virtual worlds there it is uh, go to make sure here under robots I change it to clawbot now right this guy's just more hefty and should be able to get the job done so go to start activity uh, let's go and hit play let's see how we do here okay arm is up okay and it looks like he's getting stuck too now All right, let me go back here for a second. Um, let's see if we hit this at full speed, if that makes a difference. Looks like there might be a kind of a glitch in the system right now, but we'll try it one more time. Uh, if not, as long as you can show me where this code is, uh, I'll give you full credit, but uh, it should work at this point. Let's see what happens. Okay, hit play. Okay, arms going up. It's driving into it. Oh, it's pushing it. Nice. All right, so you should get success. I'm not sure why it's it's acting kind of strange today, but um, there. Once you get your success, 
Uh, again, move it over so I can see your code as well. Uh, you might need to readjust some of these windows uh, so that I can both see your success as well as the code itself with your name in there. I uh, need to be able to see that. Okay, so as long as you have that, take a screenshot, submit that, and um, you should be good for the Sumo Bot Challenge.